I met yeah. so many Democrats that said, you know, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. You know, it was all right. You know, at first we believed that there was a conspiracy with the election. But then when that didn't work, and then they went after this. Now they're actually working on the next one. They're getting ready for the next impeachment. I call this one a cool 22 because it uh, was 22 minutes long when I looked, when I finished doing the video when I looked. But it's really cool. I ran into this one couple. They're originally from uh, California and successful, and they sold their business and got an RV and they travel around all over the damn country. And I run into a lot of these people. I, I, I swear I must talk to, uh, it must, this whole community is a, half this nation, it seems to me sometimes is just on the road. But I talk to a lot of people that are just in their RVs and they've sold the homes and everything else and they've retired and they're just traveling the country. And that's who these people are. They're real, they're pretty, they were real cool. Um, and you can see them on YouTube. Uh, they have their own YouTube. It's uh, Bob and Tam's Excellent Adventures, which I think is pretty cool. And I liked them, and I love these kind of couples because they come by and they just start ranting and rambling and going on. And they gave a good a uh, rendition of what I hear from a lot of these people is that when they travel across the country, the amount of uh, uh, enthusiasm they see for Trump and in the different areas, how, you know, whether that enthusiasm might wane or peaks up. And, uh, but you can get a good uh, feel, a sense of what's going on in the country either by one getting in one of these fans and taking off or just watching my videos and listening to these people talk. And so it was pretty cool, you know, they listened to their, uh, their adventures. I guess I'm one of their adventures now. Uh, and the guy is a guy that pops in and, you know, and then at the tail end of this, after they leave, in comes this lawyer who specializes in pot, not just, I mean, he actually grows it and sells it. He's a distributor of marijuana in a state that's made it legal. So he kind of gave up all the rest of his practice and, uh, and you know, got into the pot business full time. And what was curious about him is because I, he came up and he got a Trump hat, he bought a Trump hat but he wasn't a Trump supporter, so I got I didn't ask him, but I assume he's getting this for someone else as a gift. I don't know, maybe he's going to burn it. Hello, I don't know. But he's not a Trump supporter, so it was kind of weird. You know, it was kind of weird on this. So, anyway, um, I had a conversation with him, tried to, but he, I mean, God, he was almost like a talking point for the liberals, but I don't. I didn't really get no sense. He didn't get any sense like it was a liberal. He said it wasn't for Hillary. So I don't know where he was. I don't know. Maybe he's smoking his own product or something. But I, I hope you like this one because, you know, it, it, this was a good day for video. I got a lot of good, 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 good conversations today. But this is the one I was like, pop on you for the for today. So if you like it, you like it, if you care, you share. And of course, uh, my shop's open. Please do do that. If you can contribute, fine, great. Uh, I'm still running short on getting that uh, uh, the iPad I'd like to get to have out there so I can show people videos, you know, back up what I'm saying by saying, hey, here it is on video. So, uh, you know, please, if anyone of you could go and, uh, you know, maybe put a couple of bucks in the kitty, it'd be nice. Well, if you can't do anything else, pray for me. All right, let's get to it, and I'll see you on the other side. And where'd you retire from? Where'd you do? Uh, from California, I worked at uh, SoCal Gas. Uh, so you're all for that Green New Deal then? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
They're so stupid. They don't even realize how clean natural gas is. Oh, God. You know, they're so retarded. It's it's what it, you just you can't. Well, even in California now, if you have a kid, you don't have to put on the birth certificate anymore. What sex this? It <laughs> says male, female, and yeah. neutral gender. Yeah, they don't have to. Unbelievable. Gender. And then our daughters, one of them works as she's the president of the PTO down in Huntington Beach. Our other daughter's a playground supervisor in Corona. Well, in Corona, this little girl, they have to. She's a playground supervisor, so she's got to watch the kids run their miles. Run them, they have to run 100 miles in a year. Either walk the track or whatever, and she has to mark off. This little girl came up to her and said, "Oh, Miss Mindy, Miss Mindy, can you sign off on my my mile?" So she said, "Yeah, sweetie, let me look at it." Oh, you don't have the right card. This says Sunny on it. Taylor. Nice Taylor. And she said, "Her name was Cheyenne." Yeah. Last and, year, and, and the so they grader. she lowered her head now down and said, "They changed my name." We changed my name this summer. Yeah. So now. This little seven-year-old, which was a six-year-old last year, that went into the girls' bathroom, now is only allowed to go in the boys' bathroom. She's, she, they have to call her a boy. They have to say him and his. Yeah, you have nobody has no idea. As I said, we've been traveling and can't believe the difference in Oklahoma and Texas and some of the states we've been through. How different people are. Yes. If you go into McDonald's, any restaurant, fast food restaurant in California, and the two people behind the counter that work there are having a personal conversation, and you butt in, they're going to cuss you out. And it's We're like, what do you want? What do you want? You get the hand. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, it's, and to go to these other states and see people that actually make eye contact with you, these young kids. Uh, There's a kid we met in Colorado, and that's what I asked him. I said, I want to compliment you on your customer service skills. I've been a customer service my whole life. And he's, uh, and he's like, well, I don't get it. I said, well, you know, you made eye contact with us. You, you talked to us the moment we walked in. Even though it was Jack in the Box, you made some recommendations. You even made a little joke. You actually counted our change back to us. Didn't from what I had. Us. Yeah, instead of looking at the register and saying $2.38, it was like $9.58, and fifty nine sixty. counted back like, and, I'm, and he looked at me and I'm like, what? He says, that's my job. He said, don't I said, ever go to California. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I've spoken to, uh, I spoke to a neurologist out here uh, last week from New York City. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just before that, I spoke to, it was a, a historian, uh, a retired historian who was extremely uh, insightful. And the subject came up on this, how people are using, are losing their communicative skills. Because oh, yeah. they're all like this. Yeah. Exactly. Well, see, that's what I said. I, I figured this out just about a year ago. The problem we have with America, it all started back in the 80s when you were told two things not to talk about. Politics and religion. Now we got all these millenniums that are all atheists, and you got a bunch of freaking morons out here that don't know nothing about politics because when they are, they it's just like, well, you probably have it. If somebody comes up and bad mouths you about Trump, you just, well, what don't you like? You know, my, you. my, my, our, she took out $20,000 to buy our trailer out of her 401 in August. She's already got that money back. That was in August, so it's yeah. less than six months. Yeah. So we got our money back. So it's like, you know, I'm happy as can be. And that's every time we vote, I always tell, I always told her, I said, you know, which evil do you want to vote for? You know, and I always look at it, am I any worse off this year than last year? And Obama, even though we were a union, Obama, my insurance averaged 28 percent increase every year since trump's been in office two years it didn't even go up this year since we're retired it actually dropped 90 bucks a year a month yeah. so it's like you know i'm not saying it, it was all him but it didn't hurt <laughs> i know i know so it didn't go up i know so it's like you give him you give him credit and, and that's why i said which is funny we were listening to rush Lumbo today he's back on the radio today and uh, some of the stuff he was talking about because he got his medal and all that, and and uh, he just like you could, you know, they don't get it. And and now he's more popular now than any other president's been in the world, yeah. you know. And yeah. it's just they still don't know. They they don't can't under that. Yeah. And well, today, you know, did you hear I mean, that he just got he just got uh, the the, 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 what's the Supreme Court, not the Supreme oh, yeah. Court, Circuit Court. Just remember that they sued him. For, uh, his records, his for making money, records. for making money, and his from foreign agencies coming to his hotels. Yeah. Uh, out of three judges, they all dismissed him sure. this morning. Of course. So I said he, he just got on the airplane, and he, he he just said, you know, there's another win for us. Here's yeah. crap. Two hundred Democrats went after me, and here they they, they wasted their time Picked again. Kicked him in the knees again, Rush said. And that's what Rush said. He says, you know, I've lo- known Trump all my life. You know, for a long time, I've known him and dealt with him as a businessman and stuff. He says people don't realize how smart he really is. Oh yeah. That he 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 plays people more and than. And he does definitely beat to his own drum, but he gets results. <laughs> 
and he probably says things, which see, I think now is after I've listened so much of him, is I think he does a lot of stuff because he knows that this is a man. Oh, he, and, and, he's and a he master striker. He knows that. that pot. He knows how to. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. He, well, this, going through Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, I couldn't believe. Because see, being that we were in California for a while, you couldn't you take your life in your hand by putting a Trump sticker in your car. They'll scratch your car and everything else. And to see the support of Trump across from here on, like Florida, it's like everybody. Every corner's got a booth up. People are standing in line buying stuff. And it's uh, we were in Sturgis, and they opened up a Trump booth a week before the rally. And somebody, some kids came up and put Nazi signs and stuff on the side. And so we ended up meeting the guy. He owned all the booths. We actually met him. He says, you know what? That was the best publicity I had. The <laughs> station came out, told everybody about it. He says, I've had 28 people standing in line all day long. He says, you know, next year, I might just paint Nazi signs on it. <laughs> they call him up and say they did it again. <laughs> I know. It's almost like, it's like when Pelosi pulled that stunt. Yeah. If you listen to CNN right after that. Nearly every phone call was thrown in. I've been a Democrat all my life. I'm never voting for them again. I was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's like, keep on doing stuff. It's like, it's, I'm almost starting to think maybe she's well, actually see, secretly see, working think, for Trump. I, I think with, with them, see, if you've been in California, we could see it. There's su- there's people that just hate him and hate him and hate him. Hate yeah. him so much, no matter what he did. He could hand him a billion dollars and they'd yeah. still hate him. Yeah. Well, those are the people that, they're like, yeah, tear that speech up. You should have threw it in his face. <laughs> you know, and those are the ones that she's keeping. But the people that yeah. have half a brain, even in California, I met yeah. so many Democrats that said, you know, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. You know, it was alright. You know, at first we believed that there was a conspiracy with the election. But then when that didn't work. And then they went after this. Now they're actually working on the next one. They're getting ready for the next impeachment. What I love is who they have running now. Oh, yeah. A gay guy, a socialist, and a fake Indian. Well, they don't want... Yeah. They don't, well, see, the Pocahontas. problem is they wanted, they wanted Biden. And by doing this bringing this up, all this bad stuff's come out about Biden and his son, no so now going. they've lost support for Biden. So now they got crazy Bernie, and he lost the kids, because he had the kids before. The millenniums. Now they don't want him anymore. So, now you got, you know, and now they got this young kid, Pete, whoever the hell he yep. is. Who did Jack yeah. John, And, and uh, who did you know, yeah. it's just... Bloomberg. Bloomberg's gonna be there. Oh, yeah, right. But well, it's like, see, it's funny he's about the Bloomberg. same thing he as never Trump. Shows up I mean, he's a billionaire. I mean, when, when what, if you don't like him, why would you like them? He's not even in the numbers, even though he's really not that far out now. But people who hated Trump should hate him worse because he's fine in this election. He's worse than Trump. Oh, Trump yeah. actually got money from people to get yeah. involved with this, where Bloomberg is 100% his money. Yeah. So it's like, out of all the people you would want, why would you want a guy that you know he's going to be worse than Trump? Ooh. They're not going to be able to, and that's why Democrats are staying away from him. They don't want nothing to do with him. <laughs> They'll take his money. <laughs> But he helped get Pelosi if reelected. You, if you, Nancy Pelosi, if she hates him so much, disrespects him, doesn't like him, you still have to respect the office that he holds and the the office you hold. You can't act like that. If you was in some business and you did that, you'd be fired in a heartbeat. Well, she did there, and you know what she did was against the law. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're trying to say now because it was a copy of the original. Yeah, that it wasn't. That's legal. not true. But I mean, I, it I was signed by yeah. the president. So if it's, it's signed it's by the still, president. That makes it's it official. It's still document. saying. But what's funny is, is like what Rush said when he was talking today was, you know, she, she was saying, "I'm a speed reader. I already had that whole thing read." <laughs> well, why did it look so shocked when the metal was put on him then? Yeah. It probably he probably didn't put a name in there. Yeah. On well, purpose. Probably, she probably knew it was going to happen. Everybody knew. He even knew he was going to get it, but he just assumed. You know, it would be in the office or something like that. It he be. was just going to announce it, wasn't it that he wasn't actually be, physically get yeah. it that night. And it was. It, and, it, and it is. This is just like a reality show. He brought in the right people to show this. Given that little girl, which just right there, people don't realize. Oh, but that was all props. They were but just, you realize. But see, that's the problem that Democrats are fighting for because of the teachers. Yeah. That kids should have a right. If you want to send your kids to the school over here, I should have a right to take my tax money and send it to that school. Yeah. Not send it to the failing public school system. That, like in California. These teachers make over 150000 a year. And they got signed where they can't be fired no matter what they do. Tenure. They get tenure. Yeah. You can make 195000 a year shoveling crap off the streets. <laughs> Now that's you see. Yeah. Don't tell me the Democrats don't create jobs. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you, uh, I, we know several people like our daughter makes and son-in-law make three hundred thousand a year. I like this guy. They're not millionaires. So this. how can these I've people here in Congress make in two hundred and fifty, three hundred thousand dollars a year? How much are your hands? Millionaires. I love what you're doing here. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, well, here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> um, it's good for any crime in the world. And you can never you. get thrown in jail for it, huh? No, you just got to identify yourself as Hillary. Okay. <laughs> I love it. You might want to go to jail first, but you know that's that's it. And on the back, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, you, have I, YouTube? Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. I, that's yeah. I wouldn't be here? out here without filming this stuff. And um, and then you can get a lot of my designs and apparel. And everything I have comes with the trigger back guarantee. Okay. If you do not trigger a liberal, you will get your money back. <laughs> so it works. I like the hat, but I'm afraid to wear it. I gotta go fly tomorrow on Sunday. So. Oh come on! Yeah, believe me. I, mean, I know it's actually, gonna bother where you. From? you. Come on, where man. are you from? Ohio. Mm. But I mean, around here, there's our, our oh our terrific YouTube channel. Oh, We've. Cool. Uh, I can't believe. Actually, that's the problem with with Trump supporters is they're afraid. I know. And the best thing to do is I didn't if, get if that you wear memo. if you wear your Trump stuff and somebody says something, tell I always say say, tell me one thing he's hurt you, one thing. Just give me one thing. Wait, well, he's doing no 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 to you personally. What has he done to, to me? He's made me a lot of money. I know, me too. You know, my insurance has dropped. I'm happy about that. I didn't lose any coverage. You know, during Obama's term, our insurance every year went up 28. percent It was ridiculous. Yeah. I stepped on a crack. I almost fell backwards. So that's so that that's the best thing to do because ninety percent of them just tell you I hate. Yeah, they I hate. Don't even know. Okay. Well, why? They don't know. You know? Why? Then 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 the other thing I always say the other thing is you know if you hate him so much I know there's a plane leaving from the airport right sometime in the next hour that will take you out of this country and then he truly will not be your president you know I know and it's funny when you also I got to talk to some uh, people from Germany they travel all over the world they're business owners and uh, they're relatives of a friend of mine so I said can I ask you a question and they're like yeah I said it's political and they said uh, they said yeah. I said, what does Germany, or what do you think of, of Trump? They said, oh, if we could trade him in for the guy we got, we'd do it in a heartbeat. And I said, well, what does the rest, I said, you say you travel. They said, oh, everybody loves Trump. They think he's doing the best job in the world. I said, yeah, but so on our news, he says, you know, when you see those protesters flying the balloon, he says, it's the liberal government that paid for it. No, oh, God, says, Soros, George Soros. He says, oh. none of the people that are doing it overseas don't even know why they're doing it. They're doing it because they got paid. He says, so don't believe that. And it's the same thing we talk to military people. You know, they say they hit, you know, they want us out of Iran and Iraq. I said, there's a guy we know, young kid, and he says, he'll kiss my feet when I walk down the street. They want to wash my clothes. They want to feed us. They want to do all this. And we're like, no, no, no. And they're, they're just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And they said, you don't, that was years ago. And they said, just, you need to quit watching the news. Oh, God, yeah. And then here with Trump, that made it more obvious that yeah. how corrupt, you know, I don't even watch any of the nat. Well, I do watch one American news once in a while. That should be good. Uh, but yeah, CNN, I always say, it's the Clinton News Network. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, yep. you. She's taken. Oh, you're going to have to hold that then. All right. You going to stand in front of Trump? Thank yeah. you, sir. Very kind. All right, let's get you in there. Come on. <laughs> Come on, the two of you. Go get in there. You're, you're, come on. Mega! <laughs> All right, let me get it. Another one. Great. Oh, damn. <laughs> get back in there. Go on. Get in there with your woman, man. Mega! There you go. Thanks, sir. All right, guys. Hey, get a, get a hat. Get a hat. Yeah. You'll be happy. And wear it on the plane. Screw them all. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, guys. Bye. Pleasure. How you doing there, Captain? Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I got to get one, bud. <laughs> all right. All right. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Turn me around. There we go. Am I in the middle? You're good, you're good, mega! There you go, Cap. Thanks. Where are you from? Michigan. What do you do up there? I'm an attorney and in the marijuana business. Really? Yep. And what, how does that, I mean, what, it, I mean, what is that, what, in the marijuana business? Yeah. You guys have, you know, we grow it, we process it, and we sell it. Uh... To whom and to Anybody make money 21 and older. It's a, it's a recreational state. Very good. Uh huh. 
That's cool. Yeah, I'm very libertarian in that sense. So the people that buy your pot, they uh, I guess they make CBD oil out of it, or they also sell it recreational, just in stores? Anybody sell- can make CBD. It's not outlawed anywhere. It's just Very good. All three percent of THC, by strict definition, it's a female plant stock. Right. Yeah. So that's your specialty. That's your main thing. Is do you do other law, or is it? Um, I used to do a lot of other law. Somebody in my firm still does, but I don't. <laughs> I'll try not to. Well, yeah, why should you stop? I mean, it seems yeah, to me I that'd be the... Can I have a few more? Oh, sure. Absolutely, you can. Uh, I would like to see Trump get more on board with the legalization. Trump needs to be impeached. He's a fraud. Even though we're doing great as a nation. What's he a fraud on? Well, let's put it like this. There was a constitution set up to run democracy. And it doesn't say dictatorship on top. It doesn't say you can hide all this shit. And I'm not for that bitch either, by far. What's he I'm hidden? Not. I don't know. Well, when you're being impeached and you receive a subpoena, you're supposed to comply with it and turn over all documents. Every president that's been impeached since Jackson has done it. Well, not I really understand. That. From my Everybody. understanding, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but from my understanding, the courts, you, you know, also have to take care of that. I mean, you just... There are separation of powers. And separation in the past... The separation of power only means that you're allowed to do this and you're allowed to do this. Congress has the power of the subpoena. So when you get a subpoena, if you and I said, stick it in your ass, you know what they would have done? They would have sent the sergeant at arms who has the authority. Well, why did they do us? that when they subpoenaed um, a holder? Bolton? Um... Holder, no know holder. You know, Bolton. when they subpoenaed Bolton. him, why did he so screw you and didn't show up? Why didn't they send the sergeant? I don't know him? how to answer that. But for I understand, with, it, if it's my understanding, with the separation of powers, and this has happened in the past, when the Congress would ask for documents that the president has a right to ask the courts to go ahead and say, well, I'm not going to do this, and then they turn it over to the courts, and the courts decide. So the only if. reason you do that is when you're incriminated and you're guilty. Nixon turned over everything, including his tapes. He could have burned them, like Trump would have. He could have burned his tapes. He could have discarded them. He could have thrown them away. They were only tapes. He but everything that they... They had 18 witnesses in Congress. Only one of them was had first-hand knowledge of what was going oh, on. All the rest of them listen, were opinion. Each and every one of those persons knew everything that was going on. So, even if they, none of them even, had any first-hand knowledge, listen, they were all opinion. John Bolton was the key to everything. And when you put, when you go to court, you never go to court. Nobody ever goes to Why court. Why didn't Bolton come no, out no, at the beginning and say no, that? Because it's politics, and he's going to make all his money on his book. So. Um, Nobody goes to court with an ironclad case that says, you killed me and he saw you with the gun shoot me. Nobody has that. It's never there. So what happens is, you kill me, that guy went with the gun and dropped it in the sewer. That guy went to drop the gun in the sewer, and a witness seen him drop the gun in the sewer. They picked the gun up. According to Ali Alan Durkin, who was no fan of Trump. He, Alan Dershowitz is a fraud. Alan Dershowitz is a, the king of um, television when it comes to lawyers. He only picks up the craziest representations in the world and because he can charge whatever he wants and he has the... Yeah, but his argument to do it. was, and it, oh, yeah, that what the, it was, that the president it's has a matter of all in, authority. That's what no, Alan Dershowitz He didn't argue did. that. Go Google it. Alan Archuleta. Oh, well, no, said, as a matter of fact, I watched this sentences. last night. It was and only it was... in two sentences where Alan, Arch- Alan Dershowitz said the president has the authority to do pretty much anything he wants. Oh, it's tr- I wouldn't bullshit you. Oh, uh, no, no, care. no. There, there, with the, you did, I don't care for The him. whole statement all the way through, and, that was cut off. And I don't care for her. And oh, that, of course not. I mean, one. of course not. Neither of course one. not. He's a fraud. No one gets sued 4,000 times as a president of the United States. Well, he was no never... No one lies to everybody in the country about everything, like coal miners. I want to bring your job back. Do the coal miners get their job? No. Well, the he coal miners I've spoken to have. No. 
Listen, coal is on its way out. It's because be, it's because I spoke energy. to an energy guy out here last week. Spoke he says it's na- because natural gas is cheaper right now. It's so they're going to natural be. gas. But his platform at the beginning was, I'll return coal miners to their jobs. It was never going to happen. Renewable energy is coming. Renewable. We need renewable. We don't need fossil fuels. We don't need to destroy the environment. All right, now coal. here's now you're stepping we in my field of expertise. We don't, we don't need. I helped coal, start the. I, ins- I gotta run. These people are waiting for me. All right, sir. Good talking to you, and I respect every position you have. All right, same here, more or less. Bullshit. There's one lawyer you don't want to fucking have. He must be smoking his own product. So, huh? Did you like Bob and Cam? I did. I thought they were pretty cool. And uh, the lawyer guy was kind of, I don't know, he was buggy. Something wrong with that guy. At any rate, thanks for stopping by and, uh, you know, hit all the right buttons and shop button works. Please go get something. Huh? Yeah, that'd be nice. And uh, remember, all my, all my, Designs come with a trigger back guarantee. If you don't trigger a liberal, you will get your money back. All right. Thank you very much. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. See you on the streets.